Hey babies, it's Nana. We're gonna read a story tonight and it's Smudge's Grumpy Day. Grumpy Day. Okay. Smudge, who is the mouse, Smudge jumped out of bed, stubbing her toe on the chair. Ow, she cried. She looked out the window at the pouring rain. Oh no, she muttered. I'll be stuck inside all day. Smudge got dressed. When she looked in the mirror, she noticed something else that was wrong. Oh, rats, she grumbled. She didn't button her shirt right. She's having Nana's day. Okay. Mm, Mr. Beepwood. Good morning, said Stripe cheerily. Hmm, said Smudge. What's the matter, asked Stripe. Everything, answered Smudge grumpily. Maybe some breakfast would help, suggested Stripe. I don't want any smudge, said with a pout. Sorry. What would you like to do today, asked Stripe. Not answer any more questions, said Smudge rudely. What's wrong, asked Stripe. Maybe I can help. No, you can't, Smudge said, looking cross. If you're going to be rude, said Stripe calmly, maybe you'd better go and do it somewhere else. I will go somewhere else, Smudge cried, stomping out of the room, and I won't come back ever. Whatever. Oh. Oh, I okay. Okay, the page now. Smudge slammed the door and marched down the path toward the river. The rain trickled under her collar and down her neck. Oh, that's cold. Smudge stood by the river for a long time, feeling miserable. Hmm, all by herself. After a while, Goose paddled by. Hi, Smudge, said Goose. You look sad. Is something wrong? I just left home, said Smudge, wiping the rain from her eyes. And I'm not going back ever. Maybe you'd feel better if we played in your treehouse, Goose suggested. Smudge smiled. Okay, she said. Smudge and Goose had a wonderful time playing games and being silly. Soon Smudge forgot all about being grumpy. Mm -hmm. Rabbit and Moho heard the laughter and came over. Ahoy there, shouted Rabbit. Come and play pirates with us. Smudge and Goose climbed aboard their boat. Smudge has left home, said Goose, and she isn't going back ever. Never, gasped Mo. Well, I think so, said Smudge. Let me see. Smudge. Oh. Okay, this book is shiny. Oh. Smudge, Goose, Rabbit, and Mo played pirates all afternoon. Then it began to get dark. Smudge, why don't you go home just for tonight? Suggested Mo as they rode home. I don't think I can, Smudge said. I told Stripe I wouldn't come back ever. Will you spend the night in your treehouse then? I bet you're brave enough, suggested Rabbit. Smudge slowly nodded her head, but she didn't feel... All that brief. Shiny bill break. Can you see it? I don't know if they're shining just right. Oh. Here's some thick pages. Nervously, Smudge watched the darkness swallow her friends as they walked home, leaving her all alone. Suddenly, she heard a loud crack below. Smudge froze in fear. She shut her eyes, wishing she were home. She was, she was scared. Little smudgy, can you see? Oh, that's too bright. <laughs> the book is bright. I'm shiny. Hello, said Stripe, entering the house. The tree house. I thought you might like some supper. I've missed you since you've been gone. I missed you too, said Smudge, smiling with relief. <laughs> Stripe said Smudge, I was really grumpy this morning, wasn't I? Yes, but everyone gets grumpy sometimes, replied Stripe gently. After we've had supper, said Smudge, can we go home? Whoa! She's ready to go home. Because there's no place like home. And that was Smudge's grumpy day. I think Smudge was sorry that she was grumpy. Don't you? I have grumpy days too. Do you have grumpy days? Well, I hope you don't have one now. 
I love you guys. I'll see you on our next story.